Welcome to Kids Art with Luca. The place to find fun and easy kids art. Today's project is a pine cone turkey. The materials we'll need are pine cones, scissors, feathers, and pipe cleaners. We're going to empty the feathers into this basket so they're easy to find. That way we can find the bigger feathers when we need them. And then choose a pine cone. And I'll show you with two different pine cones. If you bring the pine cone and you roll it around, wherever it ends, where it centers itself, that's how you want it to sit so that it doesn't keep rolling around. Alright, so this will be our turkey. And the first thing we're going to do is build his tail. Then we'll use the pipe cleaners to build his head. So I'm going to choose maybe these feathers first so you can see how easily they slide in. Do you see where the scales have spaces between them? That's where you want to slide the feather in between the scales. And if you want, you can dip the feather in glue before you do it. But I like to just slide them in if you're going to keep it for a table decoration or something like that. And if they come out, I just put them back in a little more firmly toward the back. Sometimes I take two at once because it helps fill the scale slot. It's better to put them near the back because that's where all the scales are tight together, if you see that. And spread your color out. So I'm putting a little bit of red ones for here. That one just doesn't want to stay in operating with this one. Now I've built it with a few of these feathers. I'm going to start adding some of the others now so you can see that. I'll take some of the bigger ones of these. Usually I use these smaller feathers when it's a smaller pine cone, but I want you to see how it fits in. So I put several of them together and then slide them in to one space. So you can mix the kinds that you're using. Here's a big, nice big yellow feather. Let's put it in here so you can see how it will add to the tail. And if, it, if it's a feather that bends like this one does, then I think you want the bend to aim toward the back so that it fans out as if he's holding his tail open. It's a little more color on this side over here. big yellow one. I'm partial to yellow because I think it really lightens it up. If you want, you can get a bag of feathers that's all one color. Kind of makes it interesting looking too. Alright, there's a tail. I'll show you how to make the head. You take a, a pipe cleaner, a brown one, and maybe about that long. Cut it about that long. And then you need a piece of red to twist around for the waddle. So let's start with that. And the first thing I do is put it like an X and take the red and twist it several times so that it will stay on. Then pull it around so that that's where the waddle's hanging down and bend his beak down at a curve so it looks like a turkey. See how his neck is forming now? 
with your fingers. And then where the scales are, you're going to wind it around one or two of the scales so that it stays in place. Just push it right in there. And then pull his head up so that he looks as if he's looking around. And there's our turkey. I think we need a little more feather action on this side. I'm going to put a few more in before I'm satisfied. He makes a nice table decoration for Thanksgiving. I'd love to see what you did. If you'd like to share your project, use the hashtag with Luca.